Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the new Athlon 2X4 series. These are quad core Athlon 2s. The 620 model is the one that I'm looking at specifically today, which is clocked at 2.6 gigahertz by default. This is not a black edition, but it is a 45 nanometer technology CPU with two megs of level two cache on it. Okay. Now the other thing that I wanted to mention is if you've got an older AM2 Plus board, you will be able to put this in there if it supports it with a BIOS upgrade, for example. However, like most Athlons, this one here does not come with level three cache, and that's why it's cheaper. Okay. It does come with the standard um, architecture that you would expect from an Athlon. However, this one here is going to be priced a little bit cheaper. Okay. Because of that. And, um, it does have another model, the 630, not just the 620, which I'm looking at today. The 630 model is 2.8 gigahertz instead of 2.6, but again, they're capped on their multiplier. The, the one that I'm looking at today is at 13 times, and the uh, other one, the 630, is uh, capped at 14 times. Ne now, the uh, wattage of this is 95 watts as opposed to the Athlon 2s, which were 65 watts, which I reviewed previously. My test system here has got mainstream parts because this is a mainstream system, a new mainstream system. Okay, so for your parents, you want the latest, but you don't want to go crazy with, uh, you know, 3D cards and stuff like that because they're not playing games. So this is great for them. You can get that. Uh, at default, you can see here the voltages and the uh, clocks. I did not overclock anything. This is how it's running. This is the board. I did upgrade the BIOS though, just in case. And also, uh, those are the memory timings for the DDR3 that I installed, the Patriot RAM. Now, I am using the onboard HD4200 because, again, I'm not doing any 3D benchmarks on this. This is a CPU benchmark uh, review. You can see here that there are very low temperatures, 25 degrees Celsius, even lower if you enable cool and quiet. And um, on full load, it's getting about 40 degrees Celsius max, okay, and that's with the default uh, clock speeds. Now, when I run further benchmarks like from Everest and Software Sandra, just to see where it gauges the CPU to fall under compared to other CPUs, you can see here the E6700 Intel Core 2 Duo. It's faster than that. It's faster than a Phenom X4 Quad 9500, obviously, and um, not as fast as the new Phenom 2s for sure. Now, I did run other tests on uh, the software SI Sandra here just to make sure and see what it had to say when it compared against the Intel Core 2 Duo E8600, 8500, and 8400. So you can see here these three I compared against and it said that the Athlon 2X4 uh, was faster at 2.6 gigahertz. It was actually faster than all of those three. Um, so that was pretty good. Okay, so it gives you a good idea. And again, this CPU is going for roughly about $99 or less, depending on where you can get it, right? So obviously, we're comparing what can you get for $100 and uh, compared to other CPUs. Now, here are Athlon 2 X2, Phenom 2 X2. You can see that the Athlon 2 X4 is halfway in between when it comes to CPU scores and uh, not as fast as the Phenom uh, 2 uh, triple and quad core, of course, but you can see here that um, this is pretty decent for the price, right? What you're getting because it is meant for your parents, you know, for casual gaming and uh, watching movies and stuff like that. It's great, right? Uh, you won't get any lag or any um, stuttering stuff like that. Now you can overclock it, of course. There is possibility to overclock the uh, bus speed, and that's what I did. I raised it from 200 to 240, and then I decreased the HT link speed from 10x to 9x. And then left the voltages at default, did not increase any voltages, and voila, it gave me a great 3.1 gigahertz and uh, only increased the temperature by 2 degrees. So that was terrific. Um, I also ran PC Mark Vantage just to see what it had to say with respect to um, the CPU scores. And as you can see, it gave great results, almost matching the Phenom 2X2, which I had overclocked at 3.8 gigahertz. So that's terrific um, based on, on what you can get from this non-black edition CPU. So if you're looking for something mainstream and uh, you don't want to spend too much money, hey, new quad-core Athlon 2s are out and uh, definitely recommend it for a mainstream PC. Anything uh, with uh, this many uh, cores is definitely going to give um, some good results for sure from AMD. So I'd like to uh, thank AMD for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.